please, Mitchell Detective, please. I'm innocent. I swear I am. Boy, we know you ain't innocent. We done caught you. Caught you red-handed. And we're going to throw you under the jail. No. No, we're going to execute you. Yeah, you in, you guilty, boy. We're going to get you. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please, Mr. Detective, please. I swear I'm innocent. Look, I, I swear on this here Bob and I'm innocent. Please, Mr. Detective, please. I didn't do it. Boy, we know you're guilty. And uh, we're going to take care of you. We're going to fry you. Well, if it wasn't for them there courts, we'd, uh, we'd take you out right now and shoot you. We know you're guilty. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 the phone. Uh, oh, oh, hold on there a minute. Uh, hang on. <clears throat> How to do? This here is the Jackson Police Department, and you're talking to Detective Elmo Bovine, double lot spy extraordinaire. Can I help you? Uh, well, howdy, Sergeant Carter. Howdy. How you doing? Yeah. Hadn't talked to you for a long time. Yeah. How's your mama and them? Yeah, doing good? Good, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh-huh. Killings? Three of them? Well, don't that make you want to go poke your pig? Uh-huh. What? Yeah, yes, sir. Well, I'll give my, my assistant, Miss June Hathaway, a call, and uh, we'll get on it right away. We'll, we'll mosey on down there to that schoolhouse and uh, start doing some investigating. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir, Sergeant Carter. You can count on me. I'm your man. Hot dog! Hey. Okay, can you believe that three murders have been committed in our school? I know. I mean, before this time, the worst thing that ever happened at Jackson High was when old Freddy stopped up those upstairs toilets and caused that waterfall downstairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that was pretty bad, but I should have never turned myself in. That's right. Mr. Barn made you carry that stupid plunger for a whole week after that. Look, what happened here is a lot more significant than Freddy's little caper. Chill out. Like, mellow out, man. Yeah, man, ease up. Got any ganja? Sure, I think I got a roach in here somewhere. All right, come on, dude. guys. It's no time to get wacky on that junk. Hey, David. What's that stuff all over your back? I don't know. Ow! You know, it, it looks like it looks like little bits of, of brain matter with 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 hair and and gunked up and dried up blood or something. Hey, if we didn't know better, Davy, we think that you'd be Miss Borden, Madeline, and Tanya to death with your bat. Uh, yeah. Come on, Mickey. We gotta get to ball practice. You coming, Freddie? Yeah. Sure, I'm coming, you guys. We're, we're out of here, dude. See you. Peace, man. Guys! I, I've got a new Melrose Place poster in my room. Uh, you want to check it out? Cool. And okay, and afterwards, care to cop a couple of cups of cappuccino? Cool. Crazy. Belinda, aren't you coming? No, not now. I'll see you later. Peace. Okay. Baby? I've got to go baseball practice. Belinda, if I'm late, Coach Conrad, he'll be ticked. Baby? I'll talk to you later, okay? Let's get quiet down there. You call that artwork, get this graffiti off the wall right now, please. Man, I'll tell you what, what have you been doing all day anyway? Man, what a job. I've had it with this. What is this crap on my desk anyway? Hi, you Mr. Barn? I'm not sure. What town am I in today? Why, this here is Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, what was your question again? He asked, are you Mr. Barn? Well, yes, of course I am. Well, I'm Detective Elmo Bovine, and this is what you might call my assistant, June Hathaway. Meet you. How you do, sir? We're here to ask you about these homicides that occurred in your school. We might just have to talk to some of your pupils too, but 
we try not to interfere with their education because I know how important education is. Why, if it wasn't for the fantastical learning I got here in our public school system, I never would have become a double knot spy or a detective for the Madison County Police Department. But what I want to know, Elmo, is how you got to be so good looking. Ah, shucks, this hell, the way. I just kind of popped out that way. <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, we'll talk about uh, there's been three murders here in this school. Let's see, the first one was a, a teacher, uh, uh, Miss uh, Lizzie Borden, and two pupils, uh, a Madeline McFadden and a uh, Tanya Hardy. Yee doggies, I remember those all by myself. <laughs> Elmo, you're quite the sleuth and quite the Adonis as well. Ah, uh, thank you, Miss Hathaway. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Mr. Barnes, do you have any idea who could have committed these hyenas crimes? Uh, what were we talking about? These terrible murders that have occurred in your school. Three innocent people have died in your school, Mr. Barn. Oh, yeah, right, right. Could you excuse me for a minute? You know, I forgot to make my mortgage payment, and I don't want to be late with it. You know, you never want to be late with your mortgage payment. But, uh, sir. Mr. Barn. I'll see you later. I'm checking out. Please. I never know anybody act like that, did you? No, I haven't, Elmo. But I'll tell you the truth. I have a feeling that he would have been very much helped to us anyway. Uh oh, Miss Hathaway. You're getting one of those signals from what you call it, your your psychic friends? Yes, I am, Elmo. And I can feel the vibrations right now. Yee doggies, I love it when you talk to those psychic friends. Shh, shh Elmo, I hear I hear something. I'm getting a message from one of the departed. Deja vu. Could this be the dream that I once knew? Hey girlfriend, what's happening? Hey, yo, yo, check it out. The message is TCB holds the key to the mystery. Well, now I gotta go to San Jose. Bye now. That's it. They said TCB holds the key to the mystery. TCB holds the key to the mystery? Aw, oh, shucks, Miss Hathaway. I was hoping you'd give me the winning lotto number. Do you think, you think maybe you can call them back and, and get to pull your psychic? No, friends? no, Elmo. The spirits are gone. They're gone. But maybe we can hook up with them later. But right now, the most important thing is we have to, deci to decipher the clue. Cipher? You say cipher? Why, why I specialize in ciphering. You know, like uh, not times one equals uh, not, and, and not times two equals not, and not, and, and not times three equals uh, no, 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 no. What I mean is, we have to figure out what the clue means. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like it's the baseball bat that, that was a murder weapon. Right. That's what Dr. Quincy said. The coroner? You know, Dr. Quincy's a nice guy. He's a bit untidy, but he's a nice guy. Well, I think we ought to go talk to the baseball team. They're the woodpeckers. Maybe TCB is some kind of code they use or something like that. We're going to talk about two things today. Is that, is that one? No, we're not talking about that. We're going to talk about two well, things. First thing is this game. How important is this game? This game's too yeah. Very yeah. important. Yeah. 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 If we win this game, what are we going to win? Number yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Number one. Number one. We're going to talk about Excellent. number two. Yeah. Number two to me is just as important as this game. Number two is Girl. my job. Oh. 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 I gotta keep my health care insurance. All right, number two. Number three. Number two. Number three, we're gonna talk about motivation. Everybody understand motivation is very okay. important, right? right? You got it, Y'all remember that movie about Duke Rockney, the football player, Notre Dame, all that good stuff? Dude, 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 Dude. Not Duke Gingrich, Duke Rockney. I wanna talk to y'all about one thing. This is a slogan. When the chips are down, you gotta remember this. Put it in the back of your head. This is what it's all about. Motivation. No, son! Oh, oh, no, man! No, 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 these murderers that killed two of your students and uh, one of your teachers. Oh, we the murderers? Look, I understand we're just as shocked and horrified as you guys are. What can we do to help you? Well, thank you, Coach. Uh, we know that the murders was committed with a baseball bat. 
Is uh, anybody knows anything different or about any baseball bats around here? <clears throat> Look, Elmo. Look at that bat. Hmm. You're uh, you're Davy Ripken, right? Captain of the Woodpeckers. Yes, sir. I am. Is this your baseball bat? Why, yes, it is. How did all that that blood and stuff get all over it? I don't know. It, it's been that way a couple of days. Do you, uh, you by any chance have a nickname for your baseball bat? Yes, sir, I do. It, it, I call her that cool bat. That's a mighty funny nickname for a baseball bat, ain't it? Elmo. What? What? That cool bat. Don't you get it? Tasting it? TCB. Yeah, that's what one of them psychic friends was trying to tell you. Yeah. yeah. Davy Ripkin's the killer. Davy Ripkin's the killer. You're a genius, Elmo. Yeah. Davy Ripkin's the yeah. killer. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Davy Ripkin's the killer. Yeah. <clears throat> Stand up here, young man. Give me that bad. Davy Ripkin, I'm hereby arresting you as being what? the culprit. What, what? 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 killed what? these three people? Arrest? Arrest? Oh, oh, wait, yeah. man. You're out of line. You're out of line. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not arresting Davy. Davey's a star of our team, and he's going to help us keep my job. I mean, help us. That's right. That's right. 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 I mean, that Davey well, may be a murderer, but he's really a good guy. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, I'm sorry. If, if Davey had been using that baseball bat for playing baseball instead of clobbering people, well, he wouldn't be in this here pickle. Yeah, he got you there, Davey. <laughs> I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Let's go, Davey. Let's go, Davey. Cool. We interrupt all that cool for breaking news from WPBNJ. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today at WPBNJ for this special report. I'm Spanky DeButt. And I'm Al DeFalfa. Davey Ripken, popular high school senior, has been arrested and taken into custody. He is currently being held at the Jackson Madison County Jail. Uh, Al, wait just a minute. We're getting breaking news here. Uh, the prisoner is making a break for it. Uh, what's happening? Uh, look look here. He is, oh my goodness, he is running. This guy is running away. Look at him go. Answer some questions. Can you, uh, can we just have a quote from here? Why'd you do it, Davey? Davey, hey, wait, wait, Davey. So, uh, what, what was on your mind? What were you thinking? Where are you going? Hey, Davey, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Hey, just stop. Slow down, man. Whoa. Where are you going? Hey, Davey. Stop, wait. What's that? Okay, I'm okay. I'm being told that uh, young Mr. Ripken has been apprehended outside the uh, Madison County Courthouse, and uh, it seems like that when he uh, he was running, he fell to the ground uh, after running into a parking meter outside the court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, uh, this does not look good, of course, for young Davy Ripken, who is being held for the murders of Jackson High School teacher Elizabeth Borden and seniors Tanya Hardy and Madeline Rodham. That's, uh, that's right, Al. 18-year-old uh, Davy Ripken will stand trial tomorrow for the triple homicide here in Jackson, Tennessee. And this comes at a particularly bad time. Seems like that, uh, you know, Davy is the captain of the Jackson High Woodpeckers, and uh, they're doing battle with the Sormer, Selmer Scorpions uh, for the baseball championship of West Tennessee. You know, we spoke just a while ago to the emotional Woodpecker head coach, Bill Conrad. Here is the WPBNJ special report with reporter Barbie Q uh, with that interview. Is this on? Oh, I'm here with Coach Conrad. Coach, can you tell us what's going on with the team? And have you made contact with the murderer? That is, Dave Ripken. Well, no, Barbie, I haven't spoken to him, though I'd like to very much. And can you tell us how the team is holding up? Well, I'm afraid those little pickers aren't holding up well at all. They know. 
without their captain. They got about as much chance of winning the pennant as Ricky Martin has of being straight. But we'll all be in court tomorrow to support him. And Davey, if you're watching this show and you can hear my voice, we're behind you, son. And and all, what have you did to those dead people? I'm sure you had your reasons. Just come on back to the team and help us win the pennant. Because when it comes to Packers, you'll always be number one. Thank you, Coach. I know it's been hard. <laughs> it's okay, Coach. <laughs> this is Barbie. Coach, this is Barbie. Would you, you know, Barbie, it's hard to believe that uh, Davy Ripken could even murder one person, let alone three. Yes, that's true. He's such a wonderful athlete and leader, and everyone who came in contact with him liked him. That's a fact, Barbie. Thank you for that coverage. You know, it is a tragedy. Uh, a kid like Davy seems like just heading down the wrong road. Uh, with a mountain of evidence stacked up against him. Uh, you know, little Davy Ripken uh, with this in front of him, it looks like he had, certainly appears that Davy Ripken is gonna go down. Yes, it is a tragedy. A promising young career like that squelched before it even got a chance to be lit up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am, I am getting a report here. It appears that the judge for this trial is Lance Frito of the O.J. Simpson case from all those years ago. Oh my goodness, this is great news! Evidence? My grandpappy's jockstrap evidence? I tell you what, who cares? Okay. With a judge like Frito on the bench, Davey's not gonna be convicted for anything, man. Nothing. But I tell you what, don't you worry out there, because Al, Barbie, and I, we're going to be giving you full coverage tomorrow during that trial at the uh, Madison County Courthouse. So uh, be sure and stay tuned to WPBNJ for the latest breaking news. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, what do you think, Al? I think it's going to be a great trial tomorrow. We'll be here for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching. Hey, Spanky. Pop a 20 ouncer, <laughs> pass the pork rods, let's get yeah. ready to party! Right. Yes, sir! Yeah. Yes, sir! Woo Pecker's number one, baby! Number one, Pecker! Pecker, yeah! Pecker! Pecker! Pecker's number one! Pecker! 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 All That Cool, brought to you by Deck Dude, the official home improvement service of the cast and crew of All That Cool. Hey, everybody! When you get ready for your deck, you just march on down to that phone and you pick it up and you call the deck dudes. When we do your deck, it's gonna be right. Guaranteed! Did you just laugh a Z, girlfriend? Why, buddy, buddy? You be tripping like Scotty be pimping. You're ready for the best. Call deck dudes.